Molecular astronomy is the scientific approach of nutrition from the perspective of physics and chemistry. It uses the physical properties of force, vector, and mass, and the chemical components of molecular structure, formulae, and reactant products of an ingredient to utilize these components to appreciate and prepare the ingested products. It is the constituent of food science that approaches the preparation and enjoyment of nutrition from the perspective of a scientist at the scale of atoms, molecules, and chemicals. Nicholas Curti, a Hungarian physicist at the INRA in France, coined molecular and physical gastronomy in 1988. While there are those who label others' work as gastronomy, there is a population of chefs who identify as autonomous individuals in their field as molecular gastronomers. The experiment we're going to be doing today is a process called solidification, more specifically spherification, where we'll make a mixture of squid ink and fish stock straight from the pantry, as well as some other ingredients, such as sodium alginate. What we'll then do is drop this mixture into another mixture of calcium lactate in small drops with a pipette. And well, you'll see what happens next. First, what you'll need to do is mix about one gram of the sodium alginate with about one cup or 235 milliliters volume mixture of fish stock, squid ink, and water. Dissolve the calcium lactate with the same ratio, but in double the quantity, therefore two grams in about two cups of water. Fill a pipette with the caviar mixture, AKA the sodium alginate mixture, and drip droplets into the calcium lactate bath. Then let the mixture sit in the bath for three minutes. Using a sieve, remove the pearls from the bath and have them rinse in warm water. And there you have it, your pseudo caviar. This solidification occurs due to a large complex molecule that forms a large network from the calcium and the alginate. Alginates are large polysaccharides made up from a long chain of two different molecules. This long chain of molecules cannot form a gel by itself though, and it needs something to structure them in such a way that it holds together in the liquid. This is where the calcium comes in. The calcium ions can sit in between the two chains of alginate molecules. And there you have it, all done. It's an easy experiment that can be done safely at home. Another method to make this pseudo caviar is using agar agar and oil, which is a little bit safer if you're doing this fun little experiment at home, do so under adult supervision, but it's safe nonetheless. But there you have it. Now you can make some pseudo caviar for your next experimental meal to liven things up a little. Goodbye, and thank you for watching LabMates.